Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals. It's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley. Sorry about that uh, couple-day break that I just took there. I um, was exhausted from work, and I was uh, out doing social stuff in summer, so, you know, all sorts of fun real-life things are happening. Um, but I'm back, and I am getting destroyed by the Steam Summer Sale right now. Um, there's so many cheap games. One of them is To the Moon. I've wanted to play it for a while now. It's supposed to be kind of like a RPG Maker-esque uh, looking game, like pixelated graphics, 16-bit uh, style of art. Um, it's, I guess, I, I read up like very, very little about it. I just kind of read the Steam description. I guess it's a, a game about um, like people near the end of their lives. Um, I don't know, like, are put into this, like, fantasy world by, like, two scientists or something like that, and they're allowed to, like, relive their life in this sort of, uh, sort of, like, wish-fulfillment scenario or something before they pass on. I could be completely off-base with that, so don't quote me on it. Um, you can always Wikipedia it or look up the game developer or whatever. Um, anyway, this intro is going on a little bit long, so I'm going to start the game. I'm going to put descriptions. You know I always put the links and stuff, so you guys can find it there. That music... This music in the beginning is beautiful. Um, let's start off. Um, I guess this is a more serious game, so I won't be raging. Um, oh, look at this. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, very uh, SNES or PlayStation 1 art style here. And Ken Gao and Laura Shigihara are the composers of the music. And this is just gorgeous, gorgeous music. Um, yeah, so this isn't a scary game. It's not a rage game. So it's kind of... Uh, different than the stuff I normally do on this channel. Um, I'm excited. I hear this game is amazing and that it, it has all the feels in it. So um, we'll see how it is. Oh, it's a little girl playing piano. Is that me? Do I get to control her? Nope. Man, she's good. She's super good. Uh oh. Sounded like a car crash. It was a car crash. I'm so smart. The sound of the screeching wheels totally gave it away. That lady jumped super high. Death sign. Where were you looking, Neil? I don't know what buttons do what, so bear with me a second. I gotta find out. I proceed to it. Just oh, I just tap it. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. I don't know why I gave Doctor Watts that voice because he's a doctor. Probably doesn't sound like. You ran over it anyways, says Dr. Rosaline. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. <laughs> hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? <laughs> He's actually more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? His voice, I feel like his voice changes everything. <laughs> Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click object to interact with it. Oh, I am Dr. Watts. Ooh, I'm gonna interact ish. Received equipment, and it was from the car. Look at that. Got the sucker, let's roll. Toggle menu or cancel. Oh, cool. Patient offline. Dr. Neil Watts. Technician specialist, Sigmund Corp. Dr. Evil Rosaline. Senior memory trend traversal agent, Sigmund Corp. Notes. I don't have notes. Items. With a box this heavy, what's inside has got to be important. All right. Okay. Oh, I can save at any time, which is wonderful. There's also autosave, which is great. I don't want to exit the game. Right click toggles, cool. What does a sign say? Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. <laughs> so I didn't realize it was like a point and click adventure type game. I thought it was uh, like an RPG type game. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Am I gonna get into some random battles? <laughs> oh, hi, birdie. Some logs. So let's get up here. So there's a rock. Hmm. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. 
We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Push it by hand, find a branch. Let's find a branch. A branch will do. There's one. Hiya! Receive the tree branch of destiny. All right, this better work. Ah, uh, that boulder deflated. <laughs> I I don't even. It's some kind of an air ball. <laughs> uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. So far, the uh, the dialogue is quite Japanese. -y. Oh, some squirrels. There was a squirrel chasing a black squirrel. That was not racially charged statement in any way. <laughs> um, okay. Is this the household where the piano was coming from? The beautiful piano. I feel like I should have been exploring more. I Leave a comment if I missed stuff. Because um, I don't know if I can go back. And uh, I'm sorry if I did, guys. But I... I am new to this. <laughs> Ma, they're here. I'm a little baby who has a strange accent. <laughs> Not a bad place to retire at. Huh. <laughs> I could do better. Night shifts, love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Dr. Watts, you little a-hole. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And you're something... Ooh, I clicked past that. Sorry, guys. Rosaline, that was the most important line in the game. Don't forget the equipment, moron. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I walk backwards with the equipment case. <laughs> Act. Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. They aren't. Anyone who's played Bioshock Infinite to the end, lighthouses. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's not a spoiler, anyone who hasn't beaten it yet. Lily says, Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I am just his caretaker. It's baby children! And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. It's not that weird of a name, Dr. Watts. <laughs> He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. You guys are just the crazy quacks we hired. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. <laughs> okay, grab the case. Received equipment again. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Meh. Go upstairs. Let's not go upstairs yet. Let's actually examine stuff. My cat's destroying things in the freaking background. Oh, look at the time. Who's? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> the patient is waiting upstairs. Better not waste time. It's it's weird. The 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 click uh, for River Johnny H Wiles. Um, the, the click, the point and click mechanic's kind of weird in this, because you ex expect that you can just, you know, walk around or something, but you just click, and, you know, it's like, kind of like the old King's Quest games, or any of, the, you know, um, Monkey Island, all those games. 
What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Uh, the Juilliard School of Music, they would teach us something much better. <laughs> Alright, I guess I can't go to anywhere else. Look at those yummy breads up there, though. That's delicious breads. I bet if I peek in that fireplace that it's going to be like the witch's house, and some bad stuff's going to happen. <laughs> okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Where are baby children? No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Play me a song, children. Ooh, pixel graphics. You did great, guys. That whole team, you guys all did great. You guys did wonderful. So I can, can I um, examine this? I don't want to like click and like accidentally skip anything. Let's just enjoy the music. It's beautiful. That's... I kind of want to buy the soundtrack if I don't, I don't know if it's available for purchase. This game right now, guys, is super cheap on summer Steam or Steam Summer Sale. So if you have a chance, go out and get it. Um, those kids are doing are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste, and incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, actually, guys, this uh, episode is getting on in time so let's save it it's nice because there's that uh, save any time mechanic I feel like it's not gonna have like a lot of super hardcore action or anything I feel like this is more of a narrative driven game which is fine by me I grew up with a lot of great RPGs so um, I, I feel like it's just gonna be sort of like a interactive storybook type of thing so if you guys aren't into that maybe the series isn't for you, you can go check out one of my other series uh, with the scary games and the the rage games but um, for those of you who kind of want a deeper experience I hear this is the game the indie game to choose these days so um, anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to like share it and favorite it and as always guys it was great seeing ya bye bye no one's walking up and he's like, oh damn, I think that's a, I think that's a spike pit. Better put my feet in it, but maybe my ass, my face, my ass face.